African bloodline Breaking our backs, taking on the speed Get the job done, we'll be on our way For the blue collar boys Out in them wheat fields, down in them mines Or pushing them windshields All around the country, making on the speed Get the job done, we'll be What's up everybody, it's Alex again Here from Castle Rock Paranormal here I'm going to be reacting to another Nukes Top 5 video this time. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, so it's the witching hour. I can't sleep, so why not react to some ghost videos? As always, I'll tell you if I think they're real, fake, or if I just can't explain them. So yeah, top 5 videos that will ruin your sleep. Let's see if it will ruin mine. Top 10 ghosts pop on camera. Top 10, not top 5. Lurking in the woods. Justin Fender's TikTok account is dedicated to cars, bikes, do-it-yourself projects, and his family. Absolutely nothing paranormal or supernatural. However, three months ago, Justin bought himself a 2002 Nissan Xterra and filmed himself as he installed brand new reverse lights. Today I'm putting some rear LED lights on my Nissan Xterra. These are the flush mount LEDs I bought off of eBay. They're pretty cheap. The lights are installed. I'm going to take them back out and paint the bumper. So one of Justin's viewers asks how well the reverse lights work at night. And Justin drives out into the dark woods near a lake in North Carolina to show just how bright the lights are. His TikTok viewers are shocked when the reverse lights illuminate something downright chilling. The lights are definitely functional, but unfortunately I live in a city and there are street lights everywhere. But I can find a place to go test them. Okay, I found some really dark woods. I just put some tin foil over the reverse lights. So I'm going to show you what the stock reverse lights look like, and then I'm going to uncover them and show you what the added reverse lights look like. And these are the stock reverse lights. Literally can't see anything. And these are the ones I just installed. Look how friggin' bright that is. This is amazing. Yeah, so these are not just for looks. Did you see it? As Justin turns on the lights, an arm wrapped around a tree can be seen sliding its way slowly out of sight. After many comments from freaked out viewers, Justin finally sees the arm and decides to go back to investigate during the day. Okay, I'm leaving work. Two okay, initially before he goes into it. I do think this is real, and I do think it's paranormal. I don't. I, at first, I was thinking it was more kind of like an animal or something that the IR light was, or that the ambient light was picking up. But as you can see, it actually wraps around the front of the tree and the back of the tree. So yeah, I don't really know what to make of that. That looks paranormal to me. And his video, and his channel and video seems to be pretty legit. So it's that way is where the arm was. Going out in daytime, I understand that. Okay, this road goes down to the lake, which is right there, and a public boat landing. This is where my truck was backed in. Well, it's actually a path, and that is the tree with the stick leaned up against it. As you can see, people illegally dump stuff out here all the time. Mostly trash, but a lot of animal carcasses too. And this is the tree. superstitious person so you're not gonna get much out of me i just think you know if anything you know somebody back here now even after all of that, that been justin possible. still believes the arm <laughs> simply could have belonged to someone that happened to be out in the dark woods yeah that could have been very possible as well it could have actually been somebody out there i don't know what time of night it was or it was three o'clock in the morning like it is where i'm at right now it'd be a little strange for somebody to be out in the woods like that but yeah see what he says what? what do you think could it be a creature a ghost or perhaps even creepier is it just someone hiding in the dark woods let me know down in the comments cries from beyond this next video was sent in by nukes top five viewer peter canova peter explains in his email that his friend was remodeling a house in des moines iowa that had been abandoned for over 10 years 
Peter's friend shared a chilling video that was recorded by a tile installer named Javier. So far, I mean, at first initially I was thinking it could have been coming from outside, but that sounds like it's coming in from in there, and it's actually getting louder the closer he gets to it, so I want to see what they say about it. Mames, wey. No mames. The loud cries of a child can be heard coming from the basement. Javier checks every room but finds no one. Suddenly, there's an unexplained loud bang from somewhere, and Javier makes a run for it. Javier refuses to ever return to the house again. Wait, no. Yeah, based on his reaction and based on just what I'm seeing in the clip, I do think it's paranormal. It might not be. It could be something coming from outside, most definitely. But I think it's paranormal. I think what he caught was legit and his reaction was legit. So let's go on to number eight. I miss it. No, mom is Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Terence Leonio from Windsor, Ontario, Canada often goes out into the woods to record himself overtone singing for TikTok and YouTube. One day he decides to stream live, and as he starts to sing, he seems to capture the attention of a passing deer. Mm. Pretty sure he was looking for where the sound was coming from, but I stopped and started talking and now he's confused. Alright. Oh. strange to me i don't think it's either one of the what nukes explained i don't think it's skinwalkers or cryptids or anything like that i think it's just apparitions of maybe lost souls that could be out in those woods it could also be fake pretty easily that's something you could easily cgi in there i believe so i don't know i think it's paranormal if he's legit no doubt <laughs> This next bizarre clip comes from a small YouTube channel that is not even necessarily dedicated to ghost hunting or the supernatural. 
partners Rain and Jen will post random videos to their personal channel, Sinister RP. These videos range from art and music to their own personal passion, which is exploring haunted places. Now, Rain and Jeno do not claim that they're, quote, professional ghost hunters. And even though I've been investigating the paranormal in general for the last eight years, yeah, that's, it's also a huge, I can understand where they're coming from there. Huge passion of theirs to go explore abandoned places. Like, that's something more to me, that's something to me that's more than just ghost hunting. When you get to explore these places that are long lost, abandoned, and there's, so much energy attached to these places and it's just so cool stepping back in time and kind of reliving that reality that these people lived in so many years ago so yeah I, I'm, all, I'm all for exploring channels and people that just want to go out and explore even if you're not a paranormal investigator per se just go out and explore these places you can learn so much just from the just from walking in one of these abandoned places in fact they are a bit skeptical themselves, and they even invite their viewers to debunk any paranormal evidence that they find. When we go, we don't always find the craziest stuff. I mean, let us know. I mean, let us know what you think. You know what I mean? Uh, by all means, if we can debunk this, I would love to be able to. And if we can't, I mean, I'd love that even more. But there is one video in particular that even the couple and their YouTube viewers cannot explain. First, the couple captures some odd sounds in this abandoned farmhouse. This time, we ended up uh, capturing something else, something really weird. What else? You heard a squeak, I was. No, I heard a pain. Hello? Not much else happens. But then, by accident, the couple captures this. Did you see it? Some dark humanoid shape seems to appear near the door and then quickly moves away and disappears into nothing. Rain and Jeno try to debunk the figure and even invite their audience to do the same. Now, of course, uh, at first... All right, first thing I'm going to say is it kind of did look like a shadow. That might be what they're saying there. But here's the thing about a shadow. If it's one of their shadows coming in from the inside, it's going to block those uh, crossbars or whatever you have it on the door out. This was obviously on the outside of the door and it moved away, which also could have been a shadow of a real person. But yeah, let's see what they say. But it, if nobody's out there, that was definitely a shadow figure that they caught on camera. That's running through my head. Uh, that might be one of our shadows, but... And that's what's still been going through my head, but I don't know, you know, everybody else now that is saying, not, that's not your shadow, that has its own yeah it's definitely not one of their shadows like they said it has kind of its own movement to it and it's on the outside of the door the shadow's not blocking out the front of the door in any way shape or form so and, and if you watch i move and it stays still and then it moves and disappears but there is just no rational explanation so what do you think Check Either a real person on the outside, or it's definitely paranormal. That's what I think. Check out this full video over on the YouTube channel, Sinister RP. Urban Exploration Gone Wrong. Urban Explorer Andy Persons heads out to Albany, New York, to see the old Tobin's First Prize Center, which is a meatpacking facility that was built in 1924 and was later left completely abandoned. Together with his two friends, he makes his way through the massive old crumbling factory, and he discovers something truly unnerving, because they might not be the only ones there. So this is where things kind of got a little weird. We were coming down these staircases, and I shined my flashlight to the left, and out of the corner of my eye, 
All I could see was someone in a black trench coat quickly rush over through the door and hide in the corner. I shined my flashlight down the elevator shaft that was right next to me, and all of a sudden, we all started hearing a bunch of voices and just people that were inside of the walls. We just decided to get out there pretty quickly and, and let them be. A man who seems to be wearing a dark trench coat quickly disappears out of sight. Then the group hears voices coming from the walls all around them. Spooked by the creepy event, they decide to just get out of there. Now, whether what they caught is paranormal, I'm not sure. But as I've said before, sometimes real people are much more frightening. Anyway. Yeah, that was what I was going to say on that. That actually looked like a real person. It was blocking out the pillar in front of it. It was pure dark shadow. It didn't have any translucent uh, effects to it or didn't, wasn't translucent at all. I do think it was a real person and yeah, it was probably good for them to get out of there, especially if they didn't have a way to protect themselves. You can watch the entire exploration of this creepy abandoned factory over on the YouTube channel Andy Persons through the looking glass. Late one night, TikTok user Apple DeCastro decides to weigh herself on a scale in her family home in the Philippines. She stands in front of a mirror, and what happens next is truly bizarre. <laughs> So that kind of looked like, I don't know if that's what they're going to point out or if it's something else, but there was kind of like a flash of light in front of her and yeah, or him, whoever it is. And it just kind of seemed like more just like a lens flare or something moving in front of the camera more than anything. <laughs> Apple's reflection in the mirror seems to move out of time with her body. Now, of course, this could just be a weird CCTV compression glitch, but her brother Joshua actually sees it happen with his own eyes. Another camera angle records his reaction. Yeah, I think that's all a hoax on that one. I don't think it's real. That's easily edited. I don't think it's real. Joshua can't believe what he's seeing and he quickly goes to warn his sister. Together they check the footage recorded by their CCTV cameras and post their creepy experience to TikTok. So could this be a glitch in the matrix, a haunted mirror, or just a really, really strange camera glitch? As always, I leave it to you to decide. No entry. As with most Japanese videos, I have no idea what the source is for this next creepy clip. The clip shows two guys approaching an old school building that is under renovation and is allegedly haunted. Even though there's tape at the entrance saying no entry, the two friends step inside anyway. What happens next 
is absolutely terrifying. And for starters, I will say, never do that. <laughs> if there's clearly tape, signs, whatever, saying stay out, keep out, don't enter that place. Public or not, there's a reason those signs are there. That's somebody's property. Stay out. Just be legal about it. If you want to go investigate it, want to go explore it, try to find, go to the assessor's office, try to find an owner or something like that. Never trespass. That is never a good thing. No matter if you're just exploring or actually paranormal investigating. seem fake it almost seemed like they were looking for it you to decide either way the clip is chilling night shift this next spooky video was sent in by nukes top five viewer zoe from perth australia zoe says that she's a registered nurse working the night shift at a nursing home she says that there is one particular room in the nursing home that gives the entire staff the creeps the staff says that they feel watched while in the room, and that the room often feels extremely cold for no reason. Some have even witnessed chairs moving around by themselves. One night, Zoe and the rest of the staff are gathered in the office when they notice something very strange on the CCTV. think that I think that's actually paranormal and I'll tell you why because every time the shadow passes the lights are off once the shadow goes away the lights come back on that's almost like a spirit trying to draw its energy from the lights in the building to manifest itself and every time that energy gets drawn from the light source you see the figure pass back and forth from the screen and it does have some translucent just transparent uh, things to it so I think that's an actual apparition they caught and it's a nursing home so I could definitely believe it tell me what you think the boy next door paranormal investigators KNL from the YouTube channel KNL ghost hunters spend the night at the historic Red Lion Hotel in Colchester England 
Okay. Built way back in 1465, it's no surprise that the hotel has a long history of tragic events and paranormal activity. Just to give one example, several hundred years ago, a horrible fire ravaged the hotel and took the lives of several young children. These days, it's said that the spirit of a young boy wanders the restaurant of the hotel. He is often seen and photographed by guests. Most of all, the spirit of the young boy is often seen by children. K and L leave a static camera to record in the restaurant as they investigate the basement of the hotel. Later, when they check their footage, they are shocked by what they've caught. about the height of a young child can be seen peeking through the glass windows of one of the restaurant doors. Paranormal investigators k &L believe that they might have captured the spirit of the young boy that guests claim to have seen over the years. But what do you think this small figure could... Unfortunately, and yeah, I paused it on a good spot because you can see the head, what they're claiming. I honestly think that's just a person on the outside trying to look in to see what's going on. I could be wrong, or it could be a reflection of one of them in there. I don't really know where they were at, were at the time, but yeah, I don't know. It could be paranormal, might not be, but hey. let me know. You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on the YouTube channel. Yeah, I might actually have to go check out that investigation and how they edited it and things like that, and see what I think about it. K and L ghost hunters. Dead in the water. Number one. In another strange video shared to the internet without a source, someone can be seen taking off their shoes after having walked through a waterfall in Malaysia and discovering small clumps of leeches stuck to their feet. Mm -hmm. And if that isn't horrifying enough, there's something else in this video that's very disturbing. Yeah, they only they only showed one frame of that waterfall and to me yeah it does look like a person with long hair dark hair white dress sitting there in the midst of the waterfall it could be paranormal most likely not i think it's something natural in the rock formation of rock formation underneath the water and it's just matrix matrixing at its finest thanks so much for watching my upload so yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll get back i know this is kind of a long one but three o'clock in the morning it's now 3 30 so yeah i just felt like getting into some good ghost videos and until next time see you guys